Your vehicle is equipped with air brakes and an air suspension. Technically, that makes it um, like a CO, CDL, DOT regulated uh, vehicle. So um, even though I'm gonna give you some little instructions on what to look for and that sort of thing, there are air brake tests and things like that you need to perform each day before driving the vehicle. Um, and they are regulated, like I said, by the government. So it is a DOT, CDL thing. Um, so they make whole little pamphlets on how to do those air tests and such. So just so I can point that out, your park brake is here up to the upper left. Um, there is no actual park setting in your gear select. So when you go to put this thing in park, you're gonna put it in neutral and I'll show you where on this little, uh, the gear select over here. And then you're gonna make sure you pull this parking brake. Now like a normal air brake vehicle, if the air pressure is too low, uh, this air brake, park brake will not release. Typically you're gonna let this, uh, your air system get up to about the 120 PSI range before you ever try to drive the vehicle or anything like that. Um, same thing goes with uh, if for some reason you start to lose air pressure and you're driving on the highway and your air pressure starts to drop and you start to get a warning, you need to pull over immediately because this thing is going to set the park brake, um, the emergency park brake system as well. Uh, it's going to set that park brake system and it's going to come to a full stop really quickly. So just make sure that you follow the DOT regulations, go through the, uh, the CDL uh, manual that tells you how to check the air brake system before you ever try to operate the vehicle.